Previously on the bill. There's Tavener. As you know, he's taken Cameron hostage. He's armed and obviously dangerous. He's up there somewhere. Gabriel is Robert. You're his mother. This is where we lost him. I don't have to remind any of you that Des Tavner is an experienced police officer. Experienced and highly dangerous. He has PC Tate hostage and we know he has a grievance with him. We also know he's not thinking clearly, so we need to find him and we need to find him quickly. This man is already responsible for the deaths of six Sun Hill officers. Let's not make it seven. <laughs> Got a good night's sleep, did you? And don't bother shouting. We're that far away. Nobody's gonna be here. Thought you'd leave me to stew, eh? Are you wrong? I'm not scared of you. Well, you should be. What are you gonna do? Then again, I suppose one more death doesn't make much difference to you, does it? Don't push you. Or what? You're not walking away from this. I didn't do anything wrong. My baby's dead. You've got no idea what happened, Des. You weren't even there. Yeah, but you were. She died from a hole in the heart. It could have happened at any time. But it didn't. You weren't watching her, were you? She was in pain. She was dying. And there was no one there for her. Des, that's not what happened. Des, come on, mate. You don't want to do this. That's where you're wrong. It's not going to change anything. It's not going to bring her back. But it's not about her anymore. This is about you. Getting what you deserve. Hey! You didn't return any of my calls. Don't. You can't ignore it, June. Gabriel's your son. How did you even find out? From Smithy. He and Gina Gold did the original spade work. You mean the whole relief news? Of course not. But that is the least of your concerns. What are you going to do about it? If this is true, then the implications... Jen, you're right, but I've seen a ghost. Um, yeah. Fine. I'm glad to hear it. Any news on Cameron, Mum? No, not yet. But we're doing all we can. Anything I can do? Not on the search, no, but there's been a disturbance at a cash and carrying Coverson Road. The victim's being taken to St Hughes now. Racial overtones, and I thought you two could make a perfect team. Well, I have to clear it with Sergeant DaCosta. It's all in hand. Uh, sometime today, June. So you didn't see anything to board up the shop. I need to get to the hospital. Well, we can make sure Mrs. Singh and Officer looks after the place until they get here. But we do need to establish exactly what it was you saw first. I'd gone to the bank just for a few minutes, and when I came back, Anil was lying on the floor. He wasn't moving. Right, so you called the ambulance. Huh? That's right. Why didn't you call the police? I needed an ambulance, not a policeman. He was lying on the floor. What was I supposed to do? Okay, did you see anything at all? There was a van, a white van. Just as I was getting close to the shop, I saw it speeding away. Why didn't you say that straight away? Right now, all I'm concerned about is my husband and getting to hospital. You do with the police officers. You find who did it. Sierra Oscar from 48. I've come back to work, Mom. Yeah, so I see. Are you in the right frame of mind? Any recent evidence suggests otherwise. It's my fault Cameron's in danger. I couldn't just sit at home kicking my heels. Well, I suppose we do with all the bodies we can get in the circumstances. You've been a very busy girl. What were you thinking of? I thought I could handle Des. I thought I was best placed to do that. Seems I was wrong. 
I finally saw how truly evil he is. 20 years and you didn't tell me. Yeah, well, did you tell me about Marie? Did you tell me that your wife was knocking seven bells out of you? You knew. Yeah, but the point is, you didn't tell me. In fact, you denied it. I was ashamed. Not exactly. You worked with Tavner, socialised with him, maybe drank with him. We didn't know him, though, did we? And why are you picking on me? I was hardly his best mate, was I? I'm talking to everyone. And the fact that you weren't close doesn't matter. I'll take information from wherever it comes. Any detail might prove critical. Look, you said it before. He's experienced, all right? He's covered his tracks. Look how long he's been on the run as it is. Yes, Hunter. He is on the run and he is nervous. And he is not behaving in a rational manner. He is going to make a mistake sometime soon. And is that mistake going to be Cameron? We will find him. I just hope you shoot to kill when you do. What do you mean Jim Carver knows about it? How does Jim Carver know about it? Is it because Smithy has told Jim Carver all about it because Smithy is too stupid to follow simple instruction? Uh, with respect, you're the one that wanted to delve into Gabriel's personal life, so it's no good shouting at me just because we found out more than we bargained Don't for. Don't you dare turn this back on me. You have exploded a bomb in this, Nick. And now we've got to clear up this mess. This is down to you. Oi, don't you take me on today, Smithy. Not with Cameron still out there. How could you be so stupid? I told you to get rid of that birth certificate. And that's what I was do doing. Do you know what a super would do to me? If he found out we'd been looking into the personal file of one of his PCs? It was an accident. And do we know what June's reaction is to PC Kent being her beautiful blue-eyed boy? No, we don't. Oi, you come back here. Now you listen to me, and you listen very carefully. We have to rein this in. It stays with me, you, Jim, and June. And I'm holding you personally responsible to ensure that this does not become public knowledge. All right? Now you can go. How is he? He's got concussion. He took a lot of blows to the head. But they might as well have left him for dead. I'm really sorry, but we're going to ask you a few more questions. Was there anyone else in the shop at the time of the assault? Like who? Oh, I don't know, like customers or maybe members of the family? No, just me and Anil today. My son doesn't work on Tuesdays. My husband's not violent. He's never lifted a hand to anyone. They knew there would be no one to protect us. Have you got any idea who might want to hurt your husband? We are shopkeepers and we are Asians. Has anybody made any threats towards you or the shop? Every day. I, I meant anything out of the ordinary recently. We came here because we wanted to give our children a better life. Do you have children? Please, just leave it be. Hang on, Jim. Look, I think we need a moment. We're supposed to be running an investigation here. Exactly, and you need to clear your head to do that. Come on. It happened to lots of girls. It still does. Maybe getting pregnant is not something that you should be ashamed of. When Maria sorted you, was it your fault? No. You still felt ashamed of it, though, didn't you? Well, I did nothing wrong, nothing. But there hasn't been a day since when I haven't felt punished for somebody else's crime. Maybe that's why I became a copper, because I know what it feels like to be a victim. A victim? You were raped. was the boy next door. I mean, he almost literally was. He lived just around the corner. I'd seen him around for years. You know, he was good looking, he was athletic, he, he always had a smile. <laughs> That's what I liked about him. 
we belonged to the same tennis club, we got talking and then we started going out. I knew what he wanted. But I also knew myself well enough to know that I wasn't ready. And I told him that, but he wouldn't accept it. I just started with a hug and then... And I thought he'd be able to tell how confused I was, but he wouldn't let go. He wouldn't let me go. I think shooting's too good for you. I think we should make you suffer, slowly, like Neve had to do. You were a policeman once. So? So, you're better than this. This isn't you. How do you know? I don't even know me anymore. So how can you know? Hmm? Huh? So where have you been, Des? All this time. You haven't been running away from your problems, have you, mate? If you must know, I've been abroad, making plans for me, Sheila, and the baby. But this time when I go, it's gonna be for good. So there you go again. Just like I said, running away from your problems, Des. Just like when you left Reg to die. I told him to get out the car, as usual. He wouldn't listen. So it's always someone else's fault, isn't it? Shut up. You notice a pattern, Des? I said, shut up! Why? You're gonna kill me anyway! Shut up! You're the first person I've ever told, you know that? It must have been so painful for you giving away your son. Well, actually, making the decision wasn't that difficult. Especially once my parents found out. But carrying it through... Yeah, that was another matter. At the hospital, they let me hold him. That was a terrible mistake. Because then they took him away. But you made the sacrifice for the good of the child. And was that Gabriel? Gabriel? Him? There's an easy way to find out. No, Jim. You leave this to me, right? I'm going to deal with this in my own time. You understand? Thank you very much. Right, we've got a lead. Cameron? No. No, it's that robbery on the cash and carry. Cool. A white van nearly ran over some old deer two streets away from the cash and carry. Yeah, Mrs Singh said she saw a white van speeding off when she got back. Yeah, well, this one nearly put our witness in St Hughes. Said he was all over the place, apparently. I don't suppose she got the registration number? No. Then why doesn't that surprise me? She did say that she thought it was a decorator's van. Well, it's not exactly going to narrow it down, is it? A white decorator's van. See, that's what I thought. But she then mentioned a logo. Something home, she said. Oh, go on. So I did a bit of phoning around, narrowed it down a bit. And I came up with this. Graham Holmes. Local decorator, just happens to live three streets away from the shop. Give us a kiss. Don't. What's wrong? Oh, somebody might see us. So? Well, I thought we agreed. I'm getting tired of living a lie. Really? What's up? June, just got a call from St Hughes. Animals sing as we gain consciousness. Oh, fantastic. I'll get straight round there. Um, Jim's busy at the moment, so take PC Kent with you. Oh. I understand you were close to Cameron. We work together. I'm not trying to pry here. It's just anything you know might be useful. If I knew something, I'd have told you. Just take a moment. Cases you might have worked, conversations you might have had with them, any places you might have mentioned in the past. No. I just want him to be safe. What's wrong? Nothing. Don't give me that. You're as cold as ice. Why did car. you become a copper? What? You heard me. Not about really. I suppose I felt a bit lost after leaving the Navy. Missed being part of an institution. 
sort of like a family. So why not join the fire brigade or the ambulance service? Oh, maybe it was fate. Led me straight into the police force. Straight to you. And maybe you deliberately applied to join Sun Hill. Why? You've got no history around here. What are you driving at? The night that Jim got married, I was attacked. I wasn't there. I think you were. I know you deny it, but you were there. I'm sure of it. You were there, weren't you? I think you attacked me, and then you called the ambulance. This is madness. I think you joined the police force so that you could get to me. Don't flatter yourself. And why would you do that? PC Kent, could you take this down, please? I'm sorry. Carry on, Mr. Singh. Balaclavas and hoods. I couldn't see their faces. And did they say anything? Oh, one of them. He had a London accent. Local. It was before the other one hit me. And what did he say? He told the other one to stop. He tried to help me. After that, I can't remember. Could you tell me exactly what he said? Does it matter? He's told you everything. He needs to rest now. It's all right. He said, don't do it. And that was all? Nothing else? No names? That's all he said. Thank you, Mr. Singh. No, wait. I'm sorry, Mr. Singh, but could you tell from his voice how old he was? I don't know. Uh, a teenager. Maybe 17, 18. I don't know. What's the matter, Des? Thought this would have been over ages ago. What's keeping you? You don't have a second thought, so yeah? Cop killer Des Taverner. Wouldn't be losing his bottle, would he? I know what you're trying to do. What am I trying to do, Des? You're trying to soften me up. Plant a seed of doubt. Well, it's not gonna happen! She was beautiful, you know. Neve? She was small. She was helpless. She was perfect. And if you'd ever held her in your arms, there she would know. But you're never gonna know, are you, mate? You're never gonna know what it was like to hold your baby. You never know what it was like to take care of her. Shut up! You're never gonna know how beautiful she really was, Des. Have you got a death wish? But you have. I can see it in your eyes, Des. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? You want to destroy everything and everyone around you so you don't have to face the truth. Well, what is the truth? That you always have to blame someone else so you never have to take responsibility. As long as you're lashing out at other people to stop you from facing the truth. And that is that you blame yourself for Neve's death. Well, well what? Why did you come to Sun Hill? I'm not putting up with this. I deserve an explanation. You deserve nothing. It sounded like resentment. But why would you resent me? I've given you no cause. Why are you being like this? I thought we were happy. Because of this. Read it. I'll say something. Anything. Gabriel, I need to know. I need to know. Gabriel! I need to know you're my son! <sighs> You're wasting your time. I've been here all day. And what would I want to rob a shop for? It's the usual reason people commit robberies, Mr. Holmes. Then you got more experience than most. Come on. So you got form. We know because we checked it out. Well, yeah, but that was a long time ago. And like I told you, I've been here all day. What? Didn't even stop for lunch. We got a deadline. Where's your van, Graham? Here. Why? You sure about that? Steve! Who are you? It's Steve, he's my son. He works with me. Where'd you leave the van? Around the corner. Do you want to show us where it is? Lift it right here. Oh, when was that? Parked up this morning, half eight. Have you still got the keys? 
Well, where are they? Sorry, Dad, I must have left them in the van. My van's been nicked. What are you going to do about that, then? Oh, we'll find it. And when we do, we'll search it for evidence and decide then whether it's stolen or abandoned. Yeah, well, you do that. And be quick about it, because I'm the victim here. I ain't the criminal. I'm on my way. Received. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Uniform, I found Holmes's van, Sarge. Where? Abandoned by Metcalf Wharf. Good. So what do you think? What do I think? Step to son did it. They'd have to be really stupid to use their own marked out van, but we can't rule it out. Let's take a look, see what he tells us. Hang on, dear son. What's up? Well, I can use your help. Here, does this Robert need both of you? Let me know what you get, then. Sarge. Will you sit down? Is out looking for Cameron, yeah? Yes. So where's Sergeant Ackland? Weren't you supposed to be helping you out? Very probably, but frankly, I could do without her idea of assistance. Hard a funeral, yeah, I heard about that. You reckon she's been avoiding you? She's down by the river, boat. apparently. They found the van involved in the cash and carry robbery. Sorry. To be honest, I don't care where she is. I have enough on my plate. Can I take it? Thanks. Hmm. So what are the chances the blood on this matches Arnold's scenes? Hmm. What about the keys? Well, they're not in the van. There's no sign of them. So what was the van's owner like? Flaky. And he's got a criminal record for robbery, but there's no history of violence, so that could be a coincidence. Has he got an alibi? He claims that he and his son were working all morning at the house, so they were redecorating. But you're not convinced? No. Did Mr Singh say anything interesting? Um, he just said he thought one of the attackers might be a teenager. I don't know if that's helpful. Hmm. I came back to Chanel for my daughter and for Sheila. And? And he was dead. And she the well that's not gonna happen, is it? Why don't you just cut your losses and go, Des? Do you believe in God? Not really. I do. I killed those people in that fire. I didn't mean to do it, but I did. <laughs> Dave. He was my punishment. What's my life worth now, <laughs> Sometimes things just happen, Des. Not to me. Not to me, they don't. Des, what are you doing? Can I help you? Yeah. Uh, DS Hunter and PC Carver interviewed me about the assault and robbery at the cash and carry earlier. Yeah. I'd like to make a statement. Okay. I want to make a full confession. Do you think I'd have made a good dad? Yeah, it is. I think you still could. No. It's too late for me now, isn't it? I'm a killer. I can't turn the clock back. No, it does you not. If you were, you would have ended this ages ago, mate. Shh. Now we're going to finish this once and for all. It, can you repeat that last bit, please? Okay, I've got it. Have you spoken to Gabriel yet? Please, Jim, just leave it. Looks like he's keen to speak to you. I think we need to talk, don't you? Well? Well what? Come on, don't string this out any longer. Are you my son? Yes. 
I see you deliberately tracked me down. Yes. So did you always intend to seduce me? Yes. So what we've been doing, that's been incest? Yes. Fun though, wasn't it? This can't be happening. Oh, but it is. I'm your little baby and you've been having fun in my bed. How does that feel, mummy? Oh. You want to talk about it? What is there to talk about? I've had sex with my son. My son. Do you have any idea how long I've anticipated this moment? Over the years I've given you so many faces, so many lives. I've wondered whether you were married, whether you had children. I have lived this moment over and over. If we met, you know, would it be awkward? Or would there be an understanding, a connection? Oh, I think you can say we made a connection. And you've made it vile. You've made this moment something horrible and depraved. It's the sickest, most revolting thing I can think of. Cheers. I'm rather proud of it myself. Just tell me, why have you done this? Perhaps it's that whole being rejected at birth thing. I don't blame you if you've forgotten all about it. It was a long time ago, after all. Oh, right. I presume this is the moment you've been waiting for. Is it when I'm supposed to break down? Is that what you want? I'm enjoying it so far. How can you be so warped? I'm what you made me. How can that be? We've only known each other a few months. When did you find out you were adopted? I think I always knew. Deep down. Never fitted in with the Kents. Never belonged, couldn't connect. Especially with my adoptive mother. Must be a terrible thing to choose a child for adoption then realise you can't stick him. I'm sorry. Don't be. I've had my revenge. We're more than quits now. You never came looking for me. Never tried to trace me. Why not? Couldn't be asked. You haven't got a clue. Me? I'm not the one who's been sitting with their own son. Remember it, do you? You couldn't get enough. I didn't know! I didn't know who you were! You should have known! From the moment you saw me, you should have known I was your son. He didn't have a clue. I'm working with you and you still don't notice. I'm drinking with you and you still can't see it. Until finally I'm kissing you and making love to you. Stop it! Stop it! Why don't you drown yourself? Well, maybe I will! Maybe I'll take you with me! Yeah, yeah, whatever. If I hadn't have found out, would you have carried on with the relationship? What was your game plan? The original idea was to get you to fall for me. Then hit you smack between the eyes of the truth. But recently... What? Began to think. Began to fantasize about letting things carry on. <gasps> Who told you? It's Jim. What a surprise. Go digging, Eddie, because he's jealous. Actually, it was down to Inspector Gold and Smithy. Am I known Gold was involved? Bitch. You don't like women very much, do you? They let you down. They've always let me down. From the moment I was born. Why did you let me go? Don't you think I deserve another truth? There's only one thing you deserve, and that's prison, nothing less. You rejected me, you ruined my life. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. There are thousands of people who've been adopted and they live perfectly happy lives. I didn't ruin your life for you, you did that yourself. Oh, really? Yeah, you want to know why I gave you away? I gave you away because I was raped by somebody who told me he loved me. You, Gabriel, are the child born out of a sexual assault. Why are you laughing? What a life's little iron is, isn't it? Your father was a rapist! I didn't rape you. Oh, yes, you did. In your own way, you raped me over and over again. You've not had much luck with men, have you? I thought about having an abortion. Maybe I should have! So why didn't you? 
from the moment I found out I was pregnant to the moment I gave birth to you, I just wanted shot of you. You were a rapist son, I felt nothing, just revulsion. At least you're honest. You don't get it, do you? The nurse was holding you and... Uh, oh, you were beautiful. You were just gorgeous. She asked me almost casually if I wanted to hold you and... And so I did. And it was... It was perfect. It was... A moment of pure happiness. I can't describe it. I've never felt anything like it before and I've never experienced anything like it since. You still gave me away though. You've got no idea. It was like ripping off a limb. Do you know what? I've never got over you. I've never replaced you. I let something go that day. I've never got over it. I've never been able to have a relationship that's lasted. I've never, I've never been able to give my heart wholly and truly to anybody else. Because of the rape? No! No, it was because of you. It was because I gave you away. <laughs> maybe you're right and maybe I deserve all this. <laughs> no. No, you don't. <laughs> You just stop it, you stop it now, because it's too late to have a guilty conscience. I'm not who you think I am. I know! No, you don't. Robert Ackland is your child. He was renamed Gabriel Kemp, but I am not your son. What, what, what are you talking about? It's a lie. It's all been a lie. I just wanted to hurt you, make you think I was your son. I'm not Gabriel Kemp. I've been impersonating him from the beginning. I think you're insane. It's over. It's all over. You stay away from me. You've got nothing to fear for me, Jim. I think I'd be ashamed of it. No, you don't! Ah! Ah! Jim! 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 parents adopted him. What? It's true. Just go! Listen to me. No. No, I've done far too much of that already. Your son, your real son was adopted by my parents. My real name is David Kent. No. No, I don't believe a word you say. I think you're ill. I think you're really ill. It's true. What, you... You join the police force, you go through the training using somebody else's identity. Not anybody else's. My brothers, after my parents died, Gabriel went abroad. He blamed himself. Before the crash, Gabriel applied to join the police. The fluke was I saw your picture in the paper. Something about a criminal using your name to arrest people. On the day Gabriel's interview came through. Well, it seemed like fate. But now that you know who I really am, I can see how strange it looks. But I wanted revenge so intensely. I was obsessed. Understatement! When you gave your child to my parents, you ruined my life. You stole my birthright. I wanted to punish you, that's all. Put you through some of the pain I've been through. Suffer like I've suffered. Enough! Listen to me! My parents had it all planned. Careers, marriage, kids. Then I came along unexpectedly and messed it all up. 
My mother would have had an abortion. But by the time she realised she was pregnant, it was too late. You can't know that! They had to do a C-section and I was a big baby, right? It was 1965 and there were complications. Serious complications. They told us you couldn't have any more children. Now, clearly I was a disappointment or I wasn't enough for it because when I was three years old, they decided to adopt. And along came Gabriel. My son. You've got no idea how much they doted on him. He was the one who could do no wrong. If it me touched him, the gold. Whereas me, I was just a black sheep of the family. I never got my mum and dad's love. Not the way he did. Well, I'm sorry. Well, my life's been one disaster after another. And um, what about the Navy? I mean, was that a lie too? No. Thought I'd follow my father's footsteps. I was a disaster at school. No qualification, so I had to enter as a rating. Three years later, Gabriel gets straight A's at A-level. Oh, yeah. He's clever, your boy. Shot through the ranks like a knife through hot butter. While Gabriel soared, I floundered. Eventually, I had to leave. Before I got kicked out. So I started drinking, gambling, bumming around. Gabriel, on the other hand, had it all. But that wasn't enough for him. He needed more. What? Oh. To meet his birth mother. Me? He became obsessed. He broke my parents' hearts. Ended up in a massive row. My mother begging him to let sleeping dogs lie. They were his parents. Gabriel stormed out of the house, drove off. Mum and Dad got into their car to follow him. They were only five minutes from home. The accident? Yeah. Cut out of the wreckage, the two of them. If Gabriel hadn't been so keen on me to knew they'd still be around, I'd still have a chance to make the connection. But it's too late now. My parents are dead. And I believe that was your fault too. He's, he's blaming me for everything. It's pathetic. I can see that now. Now that it's over. I was just so angry. But how could you do this? How could you make me think that I'd committed incest? I wasn't going to. In the hospital, when you asked me, I knew it hit the moment of truth. I couldn't handle it straight away. I fled. I hid in the toilets. I decided that I couldn't go through with it. The deception. I decided that when you asked me, I'd tell you that I wasn't your son. But you lied. I couldn't help it. I just couldn't help it. When I was a kid, there was nothing I liked better than to catch a moth or a butterfly and stick in a pin in them. Watching them struggle. Suffer. I wanted to know how it felt. Well, you made me suffer, all right? That's what you wanted. And for that, I apologize. It was a sick, perverted thing to do. And I'm ashamed. But it's over now. No more lies. So you're going to come clean? You're going to tell everybody that you're not who you say you are? No. So much for no more lies. I love being a copper. Since I came to Sun Hill, since I met you, I've found a purpose in life. Something positive for the first time ever. You can't take that away from me. When I asked you if you were my son, if in that moment you could have told me the truth, then I might have been able to feel sorry for you. I might have believed that you were the poor, misguided soul you say you are. But that lie was an act of pure evil. Where are you going? I'm going back to the station. I'm going to tell you to God the truth. You're not fit to wear the uniform. I did the training. I passed the exams. I'm a good police officer. You're an imposter. I could go to jail. I hope they throw away the key. Inspector Gold. 
I need to talk to you. Do you have some information for us on Destavna? No, but peace No buts. Can... Everything else can wait. Right, shall we try again, Graham? Who was with you on the job? That's not part of the deal. What deal? You got me. That's all I'm giving you. We know you were lying. You weren't there at all, were you? Do you think I'd be sitting here if I wasn't? Well, it's funny you should say that, because that's exactly what I think. Why? Because you're trying to protect someone. Now, why would I do that? Because it's your son. Now, we got the van, and we got the blood-stained axe handle. Steve's not decorating anymore, is he? And we've had uniform round at yours, so where is he? He's a kid. You know what they're like. He was. Not anymore. Not according to the law. Now, Mr. Scene tells us that he was attacked by two teenagers. And forensics will soon tell us what fingerprints are on that pickaxe handle. So where is he? Hello? Jess? Yeah, OK, mate. Mum? Should you all right? Des Tavener's just called me. Shh. PC Tate's all right, and I know where he is. Whoa! Smithy! Oh, Come here. Steve Holmes, typical decorator in the pub when you should be finishing your job. Stay down! Stay down! It's the same age as your band and band, Sarge. What a surprise. You're nicked. I didn't do it. We got forensic teams at the van and the shop. Feeling confidence? Hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> Took your time, didn't you? It's a woman's privilege to be late. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Do you want to explain to me why the shopkeeper ended up in hospital then? I tried to stop that. That's very noble. Well, come on. It wasn't me. It was Dabi. Why should I believe that? Because he knows him. Are you trying to tell me that there's a history between your mate and Mr. Singh? History? He's his father. June. No. June, please. I hope you're enjoying wearing that uniform because it's the last day you do. I know you have to do what you think is right and I respect that. Respect! I just want you to hear me out. What's going on? Back off. It's got nothing to do with you. Jim? Go away. Go away, Gabriel. What's going on? There's nothing you can help with, Jim. Look, I know. No, you don't know. You don't know anything. Where's Inspector Gold? I haven't seen her. Nice to see you back. Hold on, camera. I need to debrief you. Something amusing you? No. No, far from it, actually. That must have been pretty scary in there. I thought for a moment he was actually going to do it, you know. Put me in the eyes and pull the trigger. I was petrified. Yes. Well, you help us to get him. All right, let me clean up. Give sure. me ten minutes. Sure. I think Dez finally worked out which side he's on. And in the end, whatever else he is, he's not a killer. Where do you think he is now? I don't know. He had two grand and a whole lot. But I think we'll see him again. So, why'd you do it? I don't know what you mean. Listen, Steve Holmes has given you up, so stop messing us about. We know that you assaulted your father, we just want to know why. Was it just for the money? <laughs> the money means nothing. All right, so why'd you do it? That you don't know him, yeah? Not like I do. All my life, he's treated me like dirt. And that's reason enough for you to hit him over the head, is it? I don't care about him, I don't love him. He's never done anything for me, so what if he's in hospital? It's the least I love. But why? Because I'm not the kind of son he wanted. And guess what? He's not the kind of father I wanted. So go and stick me in prison, because I'd rather do that than to have to bother with him again.
Inspector Gold told me not to tell you to get a move on. She told you to come into the men's showers. I was worried about you. You know, they say your whole life flashes before your eyes when you think you're going to die. Anything memorable? A couple of good points. How good? Why don't you refresh my memory? Well, I got a bit dirty in that lock-up myself. <laughs> June. No more, Gabriel. I've had enough. I, I don't know what you want from me. Please. Just hear me out. Well? Did you enjoy our relationship? Uh, yes or no? You know I did. But we can't turn the clock back. Not after what happened today. I'm not what you think. Yeah, well, that is certainly true. Who are you now, Lord Lucan? I'm just a copper now. Nothing more, nothing less. And you're not my mother. What you are is an amazing, strong, decent human being. Give me a chance. A chance for what? A chance to prove that I'm not a nutter, that there is some good in me, that I'm not beyond redemption. A chance to prove that I'm the same bloke who also made you so happy. I can be something at Sunhill. I can learn from you. Learn what it takes to be a good man. Someone you can be proud to know. June, I came to this Nick with terrible intentions. With a plan I'm utterly ashamed of. But that's changed now. And you know why? Because I love you. And I know that you love me too. Next time on The Bill. I wasn't sure if you'd have the stomach for this place again. My granddaughter has disappeared. She's only four. You let me think that I had slept with my own son. And I want nothing to do with you. The little girl's been missing for three hours, Samantha. Check him out.